The other issue uh, that we face is often as an adult, because of these childhood emotions, we start creating a lot of things about ourselves that are not true. We create these fictitious viewpoints of ourselves that we then want to maintain as an adult. And we'll do almost anything to defend the castle. And rage or anger is a major way of defending the castle. Like, how do you find dealing with someone who's angry with you? Don't you find that it's really difficult? Like, isn't it difficult because what are they doing? They're trying to control you or manipulate you generally, or they want something from you that you're not giving them. And so it's a major way that we can use to, ex to actually explore having others do what we want. And so anger becomes a way in which we can control others. Like, you go to a supermarket, who, who's the one who gets the free product? Like, <laughs> that they got, you know, they got a bad product, let's say, and they get the free product as well as the, as well as the original product, the good one, in return. Who's the one? Usually it's the one who goes up there and who's the irate customer, isn't it? You notice that, how that happens a lot? The irate customer gets served, and the person who's nice and calm and collected and, and waiting to be served, they get forgotten. But why is that? Because anger is what we're so used to responding to. We're so used to responding to anger rather than actually love. And that's why these, these things happen in our daily life.